Hey guys, this is Tashina from Logical Harmony and today is my final entry for the Pacific Amuse contest. I can't believe that I made it this far. I feel so thankful and so grateful that I did and I'm really excited about today's video. For this challenge, we were asked to pretend that we were the ruler of our own fantasy kingdom. As a child, I did read a lot of fantasy books and pretty much every single one I read had to do with woodland creatures, whether that was animals or fairies or elves. It was something that I was always really interested in as a kid and I actually still have the majority of those books and have reread them as an adult. For my look I wanted to do a woodland fairy inspired look. When I thought about what a woodland fairy was in my mind it was very very glowy very sparkly and I wanted to add in a touch of the colored wing liner. I thought that this was fun because it's using the Pacifica eyeshadows in a different way to really create an eyeliner look that pops and using some fun colors and when I thought about what the perfect environment Environment would be like I just thought of gigantic trees the kind that tower over you and block out the light to create their own ecosystem down below and lots of moss lots of really cool rocks and crystals things that naturally occur on this earth there would definitely be a little creek going through it with some little salamanders and hedgehogs I really hope that you guys enjoy this video it was so much fun to create so if you want to see how I got this look just keep watching First, I'm going to apply the Alight Mineral BB Cream to my entire face. I'm using this as my primer today. Next, I'm going to use one pump of the Dreamy Cover Serum Foundation all over my face. I'm going to conceal with the Transcendent Concentrating Correcting Concealer. I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes and on some of the areas of my face that I do want to highlight. Because I do want this look to be very, very glowy, I'm going to go in with the Coconut Multiples Highlighter Trio. I'm going to use the lightest one on the tops of my cheekbones. Next, I'm going to go in with the darkest shade and use this to go over my contour. I'm going to set my face using the Perfect Lotus Powder. Going into the Solar Palette, I'm going to use the Bronzed Bronzer and just add a touch of color to my cheeks. I'm going to use the blush in Wild Rose and use that to just add a pop of color to my cheeks. I'm going to use the Magical Multi Pencil just to highlight underneath my brow line. This helps to clean up and really give them a lot of shape and definition. I'm just going to blend that out using my fingers. I'm going to fill in my sparse areas using the Eye Pencil in Fringe. Going back into the Solar Palette, I'm going to use the Pink Opal Cream Highlight to prime my lids. I am going to create a kind of a sunset inspired eye with some winged liner and I will be using the Enlightened palette. I'm going to start by applying the lightest shade all over my lid and I'm going to deepen up the crease a little bit by going back in with the bronzed bronzer from the solar palette. Next I'm going to apply the gold shade from the Enlightened palette to the outer half of my eye and I'm going to apply this pinky melon shade to the inner half of my lid. Next I'm going to go in with the liner pencil in black and line my upper waterline. I'm going to take a slanted brush and dip that into the purple shade from the Enlightened palette. And this is what I'm going to use to line my eyes today. I'm going to start out with the wing and then bring that in towards the inner corner of my eye. So I'm going to use another slanted brush. I'm going to take that into the Mermaid Aqua shade from the Solar palette and do the same thing. And I'm going to apply this line on the top of my purple line so that way it overlaps just a little bit. I did the purple a little bit thicker on purpose so that I would have a nice base for this aqua and know exactly where to put it. In some lights you will see both and in some the purple will kind of reflect through. And I just think that that's kind of fun, especially with this kind of like woodland fairy look that I'm going for today. I'm going to go back into that coral shade and add a little bit more to the, my lid just to help brighten them up a little bit. I'm also going to go ahead and bring that up onto my crease just to make that color pop. I'm going to take that same light coral shade and apply that to the inner half under my eyes. And then I'm going to take the purple and apply that to the outer half. And right in the very center, I'm going to place a little bit of pop of the Mermaid Aqua. Because I want my skin to be very, very glowy, I'm going to use the lightest shade from the Enlightened palette as a highlight. I'm going to apply this to my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, my upper lip, and my chin. Now I'm going to use the Pacifica Dream Big Mascara, and I'm going to apply that to my upper and lower lashes. I'm going to use the Enlightened Gloss in Opal and apply that before my lipstick. Then I'm going to apply the Devotion Lipstick in XOX, which is a very pretty pink coral. And that is the finished makeup look. And of course, I can't forget my flower crown. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so thrilled to have been a part of the Pacific Amuse contest and I will see you soon.